Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. What I'm going to produce today or create is something I've seen on um, YouTube. Hang on a minute. I'll just make sure that. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, so it's something I've seen on YouTube. And what I made, I made. A I made a side side tuck. I made a bookmark, and I also did the back of the bookmark. So you can utilize this both ways. And my cards, or oh, well, not tags, they're tags, and again they can be utilized at the back. You can. Um, type on them they've got words on them and there's the other tag so you just get a bit inspired and and create so what I did which is look real simple out of this at some um, another folder I would get three tags so, I mean, sorry, six tags, a side pocket, and a little small pocket, a little tuck. So, what I'll do, I'll basically show you what I do. I don't mod podge this. I use heaps of scraps and I prepare my scraps in advance so I'm not here forever. Um, so you can use ledger paper and just cover that. Book paper. And glue stick. That's all you need. Book paper, clue stick. Now I hope this video works out better for me. Because the last couple, I've just, look, I've had problems with my, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, whoops. My tripod. It just don't want to happen. And when that doesn't want to happen, nothing wants to happen. Yeah, so I just stick them randomly. I might kind of give that away. I like lots, lots of papers in mine. You know, you could be different to me and you might decide, because you can use bigger sheets of paper. There's nothing stopping you. And then just randomly stick them till you have the whole sheet covered. But mix them up. Really mix them up. Don't keep them all the same because you'll get these beautiful textures in your tags when you do. So I, I try to overlap on paper or I try to oh, I just try anything really um, I even tore up some pattern paper magazine but not shiny not shiny stuff I don't use the shiny stuff if I'm doing this sort of work and yeah I just keep doing it now, these file folders, I pay $10, I mean, I pay 10 cents for uh, about 10 of them, I think. So I've got heaps because thrifting is where I get all this stuff from. So I keep going along and doing this. And this is the way you'll get 
this cupboard. And when you completed this side, sticky, sticky little suckers, when you completed this side, get a little roller and just make sure everything's rolled down. That's all. And then from doing that, oh, it's so glary. Why is it so glary? I'm just trying to. No. Oh no, that's bad. Yeah. So you see how I done that much? I do the whole lot, and then you do all that side. Then what I did, I cut them down to three. I cut it the long way. So my tags are three inches by six inches. And if you cut them long ways, you are going to get your six tags, a side pocket, your little tuck, and your bookmark. So this is your side pocket. Your bookmark is, I had it. It's like everything else. You have it and then it's gone in two seconds flat. But yeah, it's another concept of doing tags quickly to build up your stash. So I'll put that aside and I've got some already done. They're already cut to size. So what we'll do with these is, this is how I do it. Um, I've got one ready to go when the time comes. But I just want to show you, again, everything goes missing in action. I had it all prepped. Or maybe I didn't. Okay, <laughs> dokie. It doesn't take long. I use gelatos. But you could actually use, um, what do you call it? Uh, you could use water um, or metallic accents, pastels, uh, water paints. You can water down paints and do it. But I prefer this way because you're seeing all my writing. So, what I do, we'll do different colour. Different colour. I love gelados. I bought them for the grandkids, now they're mine. So, what I do, let's meet my back. I just make sure that you can see me. So what I do, I just colour in wherever. You gotta remember we're doing two sides. Yeah, so just remember we're doing two sides. It's fun. Oh, I love doing this. Because you're just scribbling. That's the beauty of it. You, you are actually scribbling. And it's fun. There, scribble there, scribble there. And then all I do, leave that off, you dip your brush in water, and then while it's wet, 
I don't say you can see me. The bash is wet. So your gelatos will melt and blend into a nice colour. And I didn't have to do too much of the gelatos. Yeah, so just don't go over the top and remove the colour because you want that colour. So that, that's one done. And oh, this is this one. See how I slapped it all on? Again, do that. And then generally, I just leave them to dry. And they don't take long to dry. And you can put any colours you want for any journal you want. So basically, that's them. I haven't done the other side because I want them to completely dry. And because I've got one all ready to go, because like I said, this is not about keeping you waiting, you know, till um, I complete a card. So you see I've done, it's like a rainbow. And they're really cool. I really like them. So what I decided to do is, first of all, I'll get my pencil or texter. And I would try and line yeah, that, that way. I tell you, I'm having untold problems with pencils and whatnot. And I love playing with them, you know what I mean? So where you see where you've put your paper, you, you just attempt to do this. Um, you can't see. And I did prep for this, I tell you, because I've been doing them, because I, I want to do them for my journal. One day I'll get one that will work. So there you go, this one's working. So I go all the way. Wherever there is a ridge from the paper you used, you can line. And this is fun. Like it's a fun project. And what I do, I got the water thing. I just blend it in. If that don't want to work, I dip it in water. And it will blend in nicely. And it gives it that smoky look. But just don't leave it too long before you blend. And it's fun. It really is. I, I just love doing it. And, and you don't have to over fuss either. You know, like I'm a fuss, fuss spot because I want it all shaded and whatnot. So we go again with this one and we go. No, that's not going to work. Oh. This one will. So again, you get your ridges. This is fun, I tell you. I've been trying to play and work with projects that um, are helpful to junk journaling. Also, basically learning new techniques that I didn't know. I just watch a lot of YouTube, and there's a lot of artists out there. This one, I forget, 
who was, but it was some crafty lady that did this in 1915. So again, we will quickly, and it's working. Yay. And just fade it out. See the spots I didn't add, which is annoying. Because it looks good. It looks like a patchwork. But it's just a marvellous technique. Um, for your tags, you know, it simplifies things and makes them look good. Okie dokie. Put the lid on that one. We need distress ink. And the beauty of this, you're using two sides. That's why I love it using two sides and you're doing a really effective oh I have to stick that down like the glue does work it just I probably rushed it okie dokie so we'll start this side and what we do now is we find you now we can either find a stamp image or we can cut something out. I've decided I am going to cut this flower that's in here. Because I like it. Because you can't have them all the same, can you? I'll just fix up a little bit there because we don't want to be messy. That's it, inking. Who likes their makeup sponge for inking? So I'm gonna just um, give that a nice little. Now I've got to make up my mum which side I want to be on. I really like that side. So, again, using my brush, I will really dry it because we're going to be modging this on. Whoops. Yeah, so literally mod podge your your um oh god tag brain dead hey, it's brain dead because it's three in the morning here and while the mouse is away that cats will play or whatever the saying is and i'll just I just put it down like that and then I find words and I always have words ready I can use numbers if I want I don't actually have to use words so I want to ink this first can actually place it down give it a go with the heat gun 
because it doesn't take long. I find it's better to dry them naturally. Yeah, so when you do these, like I said, you just stick them down with glue. So that's a bit dicey, but we'll, we'll proceed and do something else. We'll cut out a bee. I stamped a bee. This is about recycling things in your stash. Because this is just an old paperback stamped on. I could have um, easily uh, what's the word I could have embossed it it would look quite cute I'm not into embossing so I tend to do it this way just stamp it down And your cut doesn't have to be perfect. This will just blend right in because of the, the background. So I'll have the bee sitting up that way. I love it. I just love how it turns out. And I need some words. And this time I'll use actually words. I normally have them all cut to go. So in this one, I'll probably lay three words. Okay, I'm going to put thoughtful. I'm going to put respect. Like I said, you can use watercolors and that, but if you're using watercolors, my suggestion is don't blend like you would, like I did with these. Because you won't get what you want. So you just sort of got to be careful when you blend your watercolours. That's what I do anyway. I'm careful. Dakey, water, and then we just quickly give it another. sticking up so I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac yeah so I'd leave them dry naturally I prefer them to dry naturally And what I could have done here too, see how I like the flower there, 
I could have actually put that piece of paper and put the flower on top of it with the words. So that's close to being dry. And now we've got to put in one of these little suckers when I find it. I've already got a hole there. Whoops. <laughs> Each time I do something, I'm a little clumsy. But I think I want that for my front. But you look, like I said, you can use these both ways. That's the beauty of making these tags. So, look, I hope I've showed you maybe something new. You can use your oxide inks. Oops. Now I dropped it. Backer. I'll have to find it and what I did with it. We'll get a new one out. Okay, sorry about that. So we'll push that in, get me a little fancy These little suckers. But if you don't get them right, that's it. That worked that time. And now, all you got to do is get your ribbon. And I've got some here. You can double it up if you want it to be a little bit more fancy. in but it doesn't matter this is still doing the job that you want it to do and that's the main thing so I just get it pull it free and bring it through the center of it And there's your, there's your card. There's your others. There's your pocket. Or tuck. Oh, I'll show you the other side. See, it says be kind. You can put as many words as you want. There's your bookmark with the jug. Boom. So this was part two. So I hope you, oh, that's the um, side pocket. And oh, there's the other tag. So I hope you like these. Like I said, you can make heaps, heaps and heaps and heaps. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Hopefully, I've given you some ideas. Like I said, you can use gelatos, you can use watercolours, you can use watered-down paints. But keep, you, in those, I would keep them in sections. They don't work like the gelatos. The gelatos work a lot differently to 
um, water. That's why I like them so much. Um, and they're good. Actually, really, really good to work with. And that's why, you know, I think you can get four for $10 or something gelatos. It's well worth investing. It really is. So thanks for watching.